This film will demonstrate the new drive-by sight signalling system in the forthcoming version of Simutrans Experimental. Drive-by sight signalling is the simplest type of signalling system available. In it, the driver simply looks out for other vehicles ahead and stops in time not to collide with them. It is particularly suited to trams and early railways where speeds are low. Other films will demonstrate other types of signalling systems, such as absolute block. Drive-by sight is the default method of signalling, or working method. Whenever a train or tram first leaves the depot, it will be in the drive-by sight working method unless it encounters a signal or a sign. Thus the drive-by sight working method needs no signals or signs at all to operate. Notice here how the trams slow down and stop behind other trams when they come to a halt at the tram stop to the left and then starts moving again when the tram in front moves off. With the block reservation display enabled, it will be seen that the trams do not reserve farther ahead than their drivers can see. Because the drive-by sight working method requires drivers to be able to stop within the distance that they can see, this limits the speed at which trains and trams using this method can travel. For first-generation trams, such as this London United Tramways T-Type from 1906, which has good brakes, this is not a problem, and it can travel at its maximum speed of 32 km per hour in the drive-by sight working method. Likewise, this early railway train, hauled by the Stockton and Darlington Railway's locomotion of 1825, can reach its full speed of 24 km per hour in this method, with a short train of passenger carriages with brakes at either end. The rail Stockton and Darlington Railway did not in fact have signals when it first opened, or for many years thereafter. However, this later train, hauled by the powerful Midland Railway 1 class of 1856, cannot travel more than about 28 km per hour in the drive-by sight method, even though, hauling this train, it is capable of well over 100 km per hour. It cannot stop as fast as the tram, because only the tender and the carriages at either end of the train have brakes. It must therefore travel more slowly. By comparison, the same train is able to accelerate to a higher speed when it passes a signal clear, and its driver knows that the line is clear so far as the next signal. This film has demonstrated the basic principles of drive-by sight signalling in the forthcoming release of Simutrans Experimental. Other films will, in time, demonstrate the other working methods in this forthcoming release, some of which are still under development.